Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, Crafty Family, it's me. And today I have a cool thing here. Um, my friend Marion said she was sending me a happy mail and um, I got it today. I didn't know what it was, but I read the note. She said she had gotten this, but then never used it. Never wound up really using it. So she thought that maybe I could use it. And she said, if I can't use it, then, you know, do whatever I want with it. But I didn't know what the hell it was at first. And then I realized it's a light thing um, for tracing. I don't know what the hell it's called, but it's one of those. And it's good timing because I wanted, I was going to use these birds in my journal for the uh, challenge, for the springtime challenge in our group. Um, but I was going to cut them out. But now I'm going to try my hand at drawing one of them, like this one, tracing it, and then painting or taking this and cutting it out and gluing it in here after I have traced it and then using that as my focal image to when I at least in theory that's what I'm going to do but I can't draw even tracing <laughs> and then this came from Miss Lisa Beard and so I'm going to crack this sucker open and she sent me these professional pencils which would make me a professional artist that's what I'm assuming is that that's what these are there to do to make me um, I've got an eraser I've got an eraser like that so I don't need to open that one there's charcoal there's pencils I don't know what the hell to use so I'm just gonna grab a pencil um, a fancy pencil and just do some tracing um, I kind of dig this. See, I'm very heavy-handed, so I have to get, you know, that's just how I am. I can't help that. But I'm excited about this light board because, I, is that what it's called? Light board? I think so. Light plate? No. It's called something. Is it a light board? A light box? What the hell is it called? Anyway, it's fascinating to me. Um because it's it's so lightweight and it's so like see there's a four i can't see this little foot because of the four let me lift that up a second okay shoot it's fascinating to me because i wonder if i'll be able to actually it's hard to see because of the it's like the calendar page is coming through so I don't know well, we'll just kind of eyeball that and then this piece of branch goes through it. I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to fit onto my thing, but I can do that. Um, I'm just wondering how much of, you know, how much this will actually help my drawing skills. But I always thought these things, she said it was like a cheapy one that she had got. I don't remember where she said she got it, but and I always thought that these were expensive. And that's like. Um, so I don't know. I don't know nothing from nothing. Something real quick. Right, it kind of fades into each other there. It's hard with the calendar page on the back side. It keeps the lines keep coming through and confusing me. But that's because I'm stupid and I'm using a calendar when I should be, especially for my first time, probably using something 
not so hard to trace. But I figure go big or go home, right? Right. We're just going to trace this sucker and see what we get. Just have to keep looking because of the lines of the calendar. Moving it too. Not a smart idea. Birdie. properly. And that's all right. It don't matter. It just has to be a general thing. I don't know if I'll do these flowers. Maybe I'll just do them. I don't know how much they'll I'm really thankful to Marion for sending this to me because I think it's regardless if I even if I can't draw and I don't do it right it's still kind of fun to do and kind of neat to play with something like this I don't know I was always under I didn't know they sold cheaper ones and for a cheap one this one's damn bright I'll tell you that um it doesn't seem very cheap to me it seems pretty cool. Um, let's see. Back here, I'm not going to put any flowers. I think I'm just going to have it go off because I don't want it to take up my whole page. So. this as a reference photo too but I think that's good how cool is that that's pretty neat I don't know how that foot looks weird to me but whatever I don't know where his oh, I'm trying to look where's his other foot at must be hiding underneath of him it's cool very cool So I think what I'm going to do is, see what's cool about this, check this out. If you hold your finger on it, it dims. So you can make it any brightness you want it to be. You can go all the way bright, 
or all the way as dim as it'll go to off. And then you can click it back on. Oh, you gotta go hold it. Goes all the way to bright. So it's pretty cool. I really kind of dig it. And it's it's really super thin. Look at that. It's like paper thin, which I, which is why when I looked at it, first of all, I didn't see the, the USB port. And I'm looking at it going, what did she give me? Plexiglass? And I'm trying to open it. And I'm like, what is this? And then I saw the USB port and I went, oh, and I stuck the, and there was a cord in the box. I'm just using my other cord right now because I have this one up here, but it's a typical, you know, USB, uh, not USB, micro USB. I saw there was a cord in the box, but I wasn't, I didn't like, I looked in the box further and I was like, oh, there's a cord and I plugged it in and then I touched that and all you have to do is touch it and it goes on and off or dims down and goes off or dims up. I mean, how cool is that? Very cool. So thank you so much, Marion. Um, this is going to help me now look at my draw. My draw? Look at my bird that I drew. It looks all professional-like. Let's see if I can actually paint this um, and put it in my journal. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to do a live stream right now. I'm going to get off of here, or in a few minutes, I'm going to upload this, and I'm going to do a live stream probably in at like, it's 7 o'clock now, I'll do the live stream around 8 o'clock, how's that? So in about an hour, I'm to make sure the girls are all settled and everything, and I'll do a live stream of doing my journal, so this will give people time to, I'm not putting it in here, I'm doing a different page, but I'll, you know, do a live stream of me kind of it's going to go like like that or like that and I'll just finish it there something like that but I'll do other things because this is for the spring the did I say spring challenge or journal challenge the journal challenge with the 10 prompts this is going to be my animal or critter that I put in so and here's, here's some flowers so yeah come along with me will you so stay tuned for that uh i'm gonna be doing a live stream at 8 p.m central time so hopefully you can hang out with me and watch me make an absolute mess of this drawing <laughs> thanks for watching i will talk to you later make sure you do what you love and love what you do be nice to people bye